So in this lesson, we are going to consider another way in solving systems of linear equations using Jacobi iteration method. Now in this lesson, we are going to focus on solving systems of linear equations using Jacobi iteration method in matrix form. Now we are going to consider this question. We are asked to perform only two iteration steps given the initial condition x of 0 equals 0, 0, 0. And then we have this to be the system of equations. So how do we solve this system using Jacobi iteration method in the matrix form? So first of all, we need to consider a 3 by 3 system, which is written in the form AX equals B. We know A to be the coefficient matrix. X contains the unknown variables X1, X2, X3, and then B represents the constant matrix. Now, what we need to do here is we need to decompose we need to decompose the coefficient matrix A so that we have L plus D plus U. Now, D here is a diagonal matrix which contains the diagonal elements of A. And then L is also said to be the lower triangular matrix which contains elements of A strictly below the main diagonal whereas u is an upper triangular matrix which contains elements of a strictly above the main diagonal now putting this expression into this equation let's call that equation one putting this expression into equation one in place of a then we are basically going to have l plus d plus u all times x and that will be equal to b now let's multiply x across. So literally we are going to have L times x plus D times x plus U times x. But then we want to group L and then U on one side or basically we want to add L and then U. So what do we do? We multiply x by D. So we have D times x and then plus we are going to combine L and then U. So we have L plus U all times X. Now, if you expand this expression, we are going to obtain the same expression as expanding what we have here. So we have this equals, equals B. Now at this point, we transpose this part to the right hand side so that we have DX equals negative L plus U all times X plus b at this point what we want to do is to introduce the x of k and then x of k minus one values so the x of k value is the new value and then the x of k minus one becomes the previous or the initial value so we are going to introduce that in the next step so we are going to have d times x of k on the left hand side that is equal to negative into bracket L plus u times x of k minus 1 plus b now since we want to find the new value which is x of k we divide through by d both sides of the equation by d so that we have x of k which is the new value to be equal to now because we are dealing with matrices we have the first part becoming negative d inverse okay so this becomes negative d inverse or it becomes d inverse and because of the negative here that is why we have negative d inverse times into brackets l plus u all times x to the power k minus 1 or x of k minus 1 instead and then plus d inverse times b so basically this is the expression we are going to use to find the new values or the new set of values now also notice that the expression negative d inverse times into bracket l plus u is said to be the jacobi iterative matrix now to proceed with our solution first of all let's try to pull out the coefficient matrix from this system of equations so we have a the coefficient matrix having elements 8, 5, 2, 2, 10, negative 2, 1, 3, 
6. And then we can also have the constant matrix B having elements 25, 20, 30. Notice that we have the initial guess to be 0, 0, 0. And then we have this to be our formula to find the new set of values. So what do we do? Considering this formula, let's try to find D so that we can find D inverse. So to find D, D is said to be the diagonal matrix containing the diagonal elements of A. D is the diagonal matrix containing the diagonal elements of A. So what are the diagonal elements of A? We have 8, 10, and then 6. So the rest of the values are going to be zeros. So this is the matrix D. Now next, we try to find D inverse. So for D inverse, D inverse is basically going to be obtained by replacing the diagonal elements of D by their reciprocals. So reciprocal of 8, we are going to have 1 over 8. Reciprocal of 10, we have 1 over 10. Reciprocal of 6, we have 1 over 6. And the rest of the elements become zeros. And notice that for the inverse of D to exist, the main diagonal element should all be non-zeros. If you have even one zero, then the inverse of D fails to exist. So we have this matrix to be D inverse, that is the inverse of D. So after obtaining D inverse, we need to try to combine L and then U. Now notice that we have L to be the lower triangular matrix which contains element of A strictly below the main diagonal. So we have this to be A, element of A below the main diagonal or strictly below the main diagonal are 2, 1 and then 3. So we have 2, 1, 3. The rest of the values are going to be zeros. Similarly for U, that is the upper triangular matrix containing all elements strictly above the main diagonal. So we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then we have 5, 2, negative 2. So this is L and then U respectively. So to find L plus U, we are basically going to add corresponding components or elements. So we have L plus U, and that is giving us, we are going to have main diagonal element or zeros and then we have 5 2 negative 2 2 1 3 so this is l plus u so at this point we can have the jacobi iterative matrix which is given by negative d inverse into bracket l plus u to be equal to we have D inverse, we have D inverse to be this matrix, so we can have this here, 1 over 8, 0, 0, 0, 1 over 10, 0, 0, 0, 1 over 6, times L plus U, this is the combination, so 0, 5, 2, 2, 0, negative 2, 1, 3, 0. Let's try to multiply these two matrices. So we have a 3 by 3 matrix multiplying another 3 by 3 matrix. We are going to obtain another 3 by 3 matrix. So the resulting matrix is going to be 3 by 3. Notice that this is negative D inverse. So we are going to have a negative here. We are going to have a negative here. Notice that this is... A diagonal matrix so we can have a shortcut in multiplying these two matrices but if you want to use the traditional approach you can multiply first row first column first row second column first row third column to complete one row and then you do that for row two and then row three 
but then in order to use the shortcut we basically make sure that all the diagonal elements are zero and then next we multiply this value by these two values to complete the first row we do this for these two values to complete the second row and then that's for the third row so we are going to have 1 over 8 times 5 which is simply 5 over 8 1 over 8 times 2 that becomes 2 over 8 we cancel out then we have 1 over 4 we are going to have 1 over 10 times 2 that is 2 over 10 so that becomes 1 over 5 and the same thing happens here just that we have a negative so negative 1 over 5 for the last row we have 1 over 6 and then 3 over 6 which is 1 over 2 and then we multiply negative across we have 0 negative 5 over 8 negative 1 over 4 next row we have negative 1 over 5 0 1 over 5 because there is a negative here and then last row we have negative 1 over 6 and then negative 1 over 2 0 so this is the resulting matrix for this expression that is the jacobi iterative matrix now let's move on to the second part of the equation that is d inverse times b d inverse times b so we have d inverse to be 1 over 8 0 0 0 1 over 10 0 0 0 1 over 6 times the constant matrix b having components 25 20 30 so 25 20 30 so let's try to multiply these two matrices we have a 3 by 3 matrix multiplying a 3 by 1 matrix so the resulting matrix is going to be a 3 by 1 matrix so the clue is we multiply this by that this by that and then this by that so 1 over 8 times 25 we have 25 over 8 1 over 10 times 20 is 20 over 10 which is 2 1 over 6 times 30 that's going to be 5 so this is the result or the resultant matrix from this expression so considering the formula to find the new set of values x of k we are going to have x of k to be equal to this expression this matrix expression or this matrix that is 0, negative 5 over 8, negative 1 over 4, negative 1 over 5, 0, 1 over 5, negative 1 over 6, negative 1 over 2, 0, times x of k minus 1, and then plus 25 over 8, 2, so basically this is the formula we are going to use to find the new set of values so let's consider the first iteration step let's consider the first iteration step so for the first iteration step first iteration we have k to be equal to 1 so we find k of 1 sorry k of 1 and that is going to be we have this matrix 0 negative 5 over 8 negative 1 over 4 negative 1 over 5 0 1 over 5 negative 1 over 6 negative 1 over 2 0 times here becomes x of 1 minus 1 which is x of 0 now we have x of 0 having components 0 0 0 so this becomes 0 0 0 plus the matrix having components 25 over 8 2 and then 5 
now notice that we have this to be a color matrix having all its components to be zero so it means that when you multiply this matrix by that you are going to have all zeros all the entries are going to be zeros so zero zero plus 25 over 8 that becomes 25 over 8 0 plus 2 is 2 and then 0 plus 5 is also 5 now we can represent this as decimals in six significant figures so that we have 3.12500 0, 0, 2.000 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then 5.000 Zero, zero. So this is the set of values that we obtain after the first iteration step. After the first iteration step. So let's do the second iteration step. So for the second iteration step, we are going to have k to be equal to 2. Therefore, we have x of 2 to be equal to We've already obtained the matrix equation so we have this to have component 0 negative 5 over 8 negative 1 over 4 negative 1 over 5 0 1 over 5 negative 1 over 6 negative 1 over 2 and then 0 multiplying so this time we are going to have x of 2 minus 1 we are going to have x of 2 minus 1 which is x of 1 now the set of values of x of 1 are the values that we obtained here so 25 over 8 2 and then 5 so 25 over 8 2 and then 5 and then we have this plus according to the formula plus 25 over 8, 2, and then 5. Okay, so let's um, do the calculation. So we are going to multiply this matrix by that matrix. This is a 3 by 3 matrix. We multiply that by a 3 by 1 matrix, and we are going to obtain a 3 by 1 matrix. So we multiply row by column, row by this column. So 0 times 25 over 8, that is 0, plus negative 5 over 8 times 2, that becomes negative 10 over 8, and that becomes negative 5 over 4. So negative 5 over 4, plus negative 1 over 4 times 5, so that becomes negative 5 over 4. And then here we are going to have 25 over 8, 2, 5. Now for row 2, we have negative 1 over 5 times 25 over 8. So 5 goes here once, 5 goes here 5 times. That becomes negative 1 times 5. So negative 5 over 8. 0 times 2 is 0. And then we have... 1 over 5 times 5, that is 1. For the last row, we have negative 1 over 6 times 25 over 8. Negative 1 times 25, that is negative 25. 6 times 8, 48. Negative 1 over 2 times 2, that is negative 1. 0 times 5, that is 0. So we have x of 2 to be equal to. Considering this matrix, we are going to have when you add 0 and then negative 5 over 4, negative 5 over 4, we are going to obtain negative 5 over 2. And then you add this to it, so plus 25 over 8. And then negative 5 over 8 plus 0 plus 1, that becomes 3 over 8. And then plus 2. And then negative 25 over 48 minus 1 that becomes negative 73 over 48 and then you add 5 to it so you are going to obtain 5 over 8 
19 over 8 and then 167 over 48 so these are the set of values that you obtain after the second iteration step now representing this set of values as decimals we are going to have 0 0.625 Zero, zero, zero. we have 2.375 zero, zero. and then 3.47917 so these are the set of values that you obtain after the second iteration step and you realize that this set of values obtained are the same as the set of values we obtained when we solve this same example considering Jacobi iteration method that is the normal Jacobi iteration method so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye